Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Today I want to make something that everybody loves and that's chicken wings. They're going to be a little smoky flavor on the gas grill. We're also going to have three different flavors. We're going to put together a real tasty hamburger bean dip using, you guessed it, smash burgers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Give us a like, a share, a comment. All those things really help us out a lot. Now in order to make these smash burgers today, we're going to use the grill grate grate griddle. Now you can put this two ways. You can either attach it to your grill grates and have it in there permanently, or you can do like I'm going to do, and you can just set it on top of your grill grates and let that come up to temperature. It gets nice and hot, I'm telling you. So our grill settings for now are going to be these two on high to get that grate griddle really cranked up to about 450 degrees so we can do our smash burgers. And we're gonna keep these on, on low just to keep them warm. So while that great griddle's warming up, let's season our burgers. A little ground black pepper, a little bit of salt, and that's really all we want for these smash burgers. Our great configuration for today is 100% rails up from one side to the other, and then we've also got that great griddle just sitting right on top. Let's season our wings. These are what I call party wings. They're big, they're plump, I got them from the butcher shop. So to season these, we're going to use some duck fat. It's amazing what this does, both for the flavor and to help them get crispy. You can get this on the Grill Great website. I really recommend that you try it out. We're going to season them with some salt, some more salt, and of course, some ground black pepper. All right, let's dig in. Get them nice. Get all that duck fat all over all these wings. We'll let those rest for a few minutes. All right, 214 Celsius, wait. Yeah, 424, perfect. Let's put a little bit of butter down to cook these burgers. A little more butter down to cook these burgers. Okay, and now we'll get them on. One, two, three. Let's let this pan be warming up over here because this is where we're going to chop up our smash burgers is right in the cast iron skillet. Look how good they sizzle on that griddle grate. Man, this thing's super and all the grease just runs right off into the bottom just like any other hamburger would. All right, let's get the smash. Smash burger heaven. Ah, look at that. Wow. Guys, I don't know what to tell you, but the way that's looking, that's as good as any smash burger caramelization I've ever done on any other kind of griddle. I love these, this griddle grate. Okay, it looks like they're done. Let's move them off and move them into the pan for chomping up. That one there, that one there, and that one right there. A little bit of juice in there, that's all good. I'm going to use my handy grill grate gloves. They work real good. Turn that down. We're just going to take this grill plate and we're going to set it off in here. All right, we'll let that cool down a minute. I like to use this tool right here. It's nice and sharp and look what a good job that does. And you want these you want this pretty fine, kind of like ground beef, because you're going to be dipping into this bean dip, and you don't want big chunks. You know, doing these like smash burgers does give you a different flavor than just dumping the ground beef in there and, and uh, cooking it. I do love that, sh that charred flavor. Kind of like when we did the smash burgers for the chili that we made. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. It's really cool. It's a great tasting chili. Goes great with football food, too. And we use smash burgers for it. Super, please check it out. That looks great. There's gonna be a great bean to meat ratio on this one. Let's crank up our side burner. Just needs to be on low. Put our hamburger meat over there. Put a lid on that uh, while we're doing some other stuff over here. So let's first thing let's do is let's take an onion and let's just rub that on our grill grates. You talk about making them non-stick, guys. This onion will absolutely make them non-stick and impart good flavor. <laughs> make them taste good. Well, not the grill grates taste good, but whatever we cook on them is 
gonna be real tasty. Time to get some wings of cooking. Let's go. Okay, we got our wings down, and when you look at this, you might say, hey Dave, why did you leave a big gap right there? I'll show you a little trick to using pellets in the channel of a grill grate. This burner tube goes from here straight back, and there's a heat shield over top of it, a uh, flavor archer bar, sometimes they're called. Well, if you'll place the channel right directly over that flavorizer bar, then when you pour the, chip, the pellets down on it, they don't fall through. They'll sit there on top. Watch. This will allow those pellets to start smoking without falling through. And we're going to have some real smoky chicken wings. I can already smell it starting to burn. Okay, we got them flipped over. They're looking good. I've got this burner on high. You can see that I'm starting to get smoke from my pellets. So now what I want to do is I'm going to turn these off because it's still very hot in there, but I'm going to leave this one on high. Let's shut the lid and let the magic happen for a few minutes. Every once in a while you want to check it and it doesn't hurt to give them just a little stir. Let me show you how well this works with these pellets in this channel on these grill grates. Look at that. We're getting lots of smoke there. This will travel out and there'll be even more and that's plenty of smoke to put that nice little touch of smoke flavor on all these wings so we're just gonna let that happen a while we're gonna take a look take our our beans and put them in the pot and let's work these beans together with this hamburger meat want to see some smoke how about that all right let's season these beans up we got a little bit of chili powder some cayenne we're gonna put dried onions in them. Don't worry, they'll rehydrate. About that many, cumin to go in there. Let's turn that off, it's getting a little too hot. Some cumin, squeezed garlic, and some squeezed cilantro. And right on top of all that, we're gonna put our nacho cheese. A whole can of it. Okay, let's fold this in. I'm not smoking these wings. I'm making these wings a little smoky flavor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this set of grill grates over just far enough off of this burner so that I can start to actually push these pellets down through these holes and that will basically stop the smoking process because most of them are going to fall down under here into the tray under there and then I can just clean them out when I'm done. And they should go out by themselves. If they don't, that's okay too. So now let's get these other burners back on. But not on high. We're going to have them all on low. And we can start moving our wings around to kind of spread them out a little bit. All right, those are cooking up great. Let's start working on getting some of our sauces warmed up. Let's just put some Franks in there. And we can put this right up here. And that'll get just enough heat to get that Franks warm. And this one, let's put our teriyaki. Right, like so. And that's going to be warming up right there. And now in this one, we've already got some butter melted. We're going to put some garlic in it. And some pepper. And a little bit of salt. Give that a quick stir and let that be warm enough as well. I love cooking chicken on these grill grates because as you can see I'm getting some flare-up but it's under control because of the design of the grill grate. Not like on cast iron grates where this this fat would be dripping down there and I'd have a roaring fat fire going on underneath here. This way I'm in complete control of how much flame up I got. Flame up isn't a bad thing. A lot of flavor comes from those flames kissing that meat but you don't want it uncontrolled and chicken has a tendency to really really flare up all right guys it's been probably 30 to 40 minutes let's check the temp with our grill grate thermometer that we got and it is yeah 185 these are done they're ready to sauce first thing we've got is some franks i'm going to sauce some of each of these wings i am going to leave one row unsauced and we'll just baste these up 
like this. Get some Franks on these. And then we're going to put some teriyaki. Not too much. And then we're going to base some butter on these guys. Some of that good garlic butter that we had. And watch this. We're going to pour some Parmesan cheese right on top of those guys. Let that Parmesan cheese just start melting in there. I'm going to turn these back on. And then I'll flip these wings over. And sauce them again. This way, you've got the flavor cooked right into the wing. And you still maintain the crispiness of the skin because you continue to cook it. There's some more of that good Frank's Red Hot on these. Some of the teriyaki. And then some more of the butter. And we'll sprinkle some more of this on those. I've got some street taco sized tacos. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of throw them over here on the side to warm up while we're waiting for our wings to finish. All right, so let's take a look at what we got, man. We got a pot of beans with, with smash burger in it, and they're seasoned up just right. They're going to be good. We got some street tacos getting warm. I'll show you what we're going to do with those in a minute. We got a couple rows of just regular wings that don't have any sauce on them. One row with garlic, butter, parmesan one with teriyaki and one with frank's red hot oh i can't wait to eat this this is going to be good all right so i turned this this row this burner up to about medium and let's see how our tortillas are coming along oh yeah they're looking good we just want them to be warm we don't want them to get hard or crispy or anything so like that one's done i'd say they're done well guys there it is it's great party food we're going to have one of the franks we're going to have a drumette with the teriyaki Let's do a flapper with the Parmesan and a drumette that's just plain old smoked. All right, let's put our green chilies as a garnish right over top of these wonderful beans, right like so. And that way you can dip out however much you want. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna get some with and some without. And then you take one of our flour street taco tortillas and you just get a little bit of the little bit of the hamburger meat Put that in there sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it and you got a great tasting taco let's give it a shot that is a party try a Frank's first wonderful flavor in the skin that duck fat works great the skin is still crispy man you can really taste that smoke from the pellets let's try the teriyaki one the pecan smoke really mixed really good with the seasoning garlic parmesan butter and then just a smoky one. <laughs> you got to get some of this. There you have it. It was a fun cook. And I want to thank Grill Greats for making today's video possible. It's a great company, great products, great people. Please check them out. There'll be a link in the description. 